What's going on everyone? So Silicon Valley has recently just ended. Not sure when I'm dropping this video, but Silicon Valley as of right now, it ended. Aired in 2014 and in 2019 it ended six seasons. Six seasons is the usual for an HBO show, which is great, honestly. My thing with TV shows is I love it when a show knows when to end. And we'll get into that later on in this review. But Silicon Valley, again, it started in 2014, ended in 2019. It's an HBO show. And for those of you who don't know the premise, it's a simple premise. It follows essentially the struggles of Richard Hendricks and his team trying to build the ultimate Pie Piper. Now, this is a show that, for those of you who don't know, with the cast, it stars Thomas Middleditch, T.J. Miller, Martin Starr, Amanda Kruger, Zach Woods, and a slew of other actors. The cast is great. I think every single person in this series is pitch perfect with the role that they're given. Um, I can't see anyone else in these roles. I really can't. I think that they all did such a great job with the material. Um, I like the pacing of the show, too. It, it's very fast moving. I mean, each episode is only about like 25 minutes long. It goes by fast. There's no real episodes where I can say, oh, this was boring. Um, it's a show that is quick moving. It also technical aspects for a comedy show. It's actually good stuff. I like that about HBO. HBO, even their comedies, they look good and they know what they're doing. I also like the writing for the most part. We'll get into that in the negatives, but for the most part, I do like the writing. I like how the fact that there's a storyline and, you know, subplots woven into each episode and it actually is streamlined. You know, a lot of comedy TV shows, especially sitcoms, <laughs> they have it where it's like something will happen towards the end of an episode and then the very next episode, nothing is ever acknowledged about what happened in the previous episode. I hate that. Thankfully, though, this is a streamlined story where it's not just kind of making it up as it's going along. And I like that. So I look about it also has a tendency of not being laughed out loud funny, but also just it just gets, you know, chuckles out of me. And I like that, especially for a TV show. Like, I feel like when I'm watching a TV show that's a comedy, I feel like a lot of times I have to be either in the right mood or just don't binge watch it. And when I say that, I mean, like, in order to get a lot of laughs. I binge watched Silicon Valley, so maybe that's why I didn't laugh a lot. But I did find myself smiling a lot and just chuckling at the things that the characters were saying and the banner back and forth between the chemistry of this team. This is a show that's good. I want to get it out of the way right now. I think it's good, and I think it's especially strong in the first couple seasons. The last couple, we'll get into that now. So firstly, I want to say that this show, unfortunately, became quite formulaic, and not in the sense of a comedy show, because... As I mentioned, it was pushing the boundaries of comedy in certain ways where it actually had a streamlined show, something a lot of comedy shows don't have. But the thing is, where it does fall in the tropes is, is its own formula. I mean, Silicon Valley created its own formula, and unfortunately, it goes into that formula all the time. You'll have it where it's like beginning of the season, things are you know not going well. Middle of season, things are going great, and then the final couple episodes... Things start falling apart real fast, and then the next season they have to pick it up. It's very much so something I noticed right away. The third season, I believe. And at first I was okay with it, but then the last couple of seasons I was like, I'm not okay with this. I don't like the fact that it's kind of streamlined into its own, you know, cliches. That's problematic for me. And I do have to say, though, even with that problem, again, I do give this props, the show at least, because it ended at six seasons. I mentioned earlier in the review about six seasons now, that's usually when HBO ends shows. I love that because I feel like a lot of shows just don't know when to end. You have TV shows that go 10 plus seasons, it's like, does this really need to go 10 seasons long? You can only follow a formula so long. And Silicon Valley, yes, I noticed it in the third season, but at least it wasn't 13 seasons later and it was like, oh my goodness, they're, they're literally still doing the same formula. Walking Dead, you know, it's just one of those things where I, I respect it, but I also have to say it is a negative for me because I think the show, whilst it ended when it was supposed to, I do kind of wish that it didn't follow the Silicon Valley formula. Also, I mentioned the pacing and how I liked the pacing. That is true. I do stand by that. But I do think that there are certain character motivations that whilst I think the, the casting and the acting is great, I think that there are certain character moments, and you'll know when you see it, I feel like certain character moments are done specifically to propel the plot from getting from point A to B and making it more dramatic. I don't like when I'm able to notice that. I like when it feels more organic and natural in its approach. And I didn't get that vibe with certain things that happened in the show, especially towards the end. Also, the final season was very iffy for me. It was a mixed bag. I wasn't expecting that. But at the end of the day, the bittersweet ending, it was nice. You know, it's not a bad ending. It is a decent ending. And Silicon Valley as a whole, I think it's a good show. I mean, like, it's not fantastic. 
But I think it is a good show. It's well acted. It has its moments of comedic chops that work really well. It's got a streamlined story that I think is effective, even when it's, you know, still following a formula. And that's why Silicon Valley, you know, despite its flaws, I'm still going to give it a 4.25 out of 5 star rating, which goes like a hot sauce rating. It's the good old Louisiana Pure Crystal Hot Sauce. Not my favorite uh, HBO show, but again, it is good. And uh, yeah, I would still recommend it. So guys, Silicon Valley, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What was your favorite season of Silicon Valley? Mine might be either season one or two, but it's difficult. Um, guys, again, what's your favorite season of Silicon Valley in the comment section down below? And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, get you guys later.